Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. The update 24 is officially here. Over the past two days, you've seen me checking out the brand new Italian exotic car pack. We've jumped into this, the Ferrari 296 GTB, which is pretty good. The Lamborghini Exima, which is very good. And the Italian design concept car, which is not very good. I have the full patch notes for the update and we're gonna check out everything in here. You can now have 2,000 cars in your garage, as proved by DJ. Well done, DJ. And a lot of new cars. Some of these cars are incredibly OP, and we're gonna try them out today. However, before we jump into those new cars, I briefly want to check out these event lab props, because the developers just straight up didn't show them off, so they didn't I will instead. A boat pinata. That actually looks kind of cool. That's the other boat. Then we've got some decals. That is a snail decal. It usually refers to Nathan's driving skill. There's a shell and a star. There's actually a green screen backdrop and a blue screen backdrop. All right, Geet sent me a fantastic photo. It works. <laughs> <laughs> I'm moving on. We're done with this. We're going to try the new cars. We're going to mess around with some of the cars that you can buy right now in the auto show. Let's start things off with this. Would this really be an AR-12 video if I didn't make this thing wheelie? That would be wheelie wrong of me. Turbo rally engine. Go burr. Then I need some grippy tires. I need some drag racing boys. Upgrade my brakes for some more weight reduction. Get some rally suspension on it. Very nice. Some weight reduction to bring it down to a thousand pounds, you and a couple of friends could probably lift one of these things up. There's all of our upgrades looking good. The easiest way to remember how to make a wheelie car is soft in the front, stiff in the rear. It doesn't even need the big launch at the drag strip where... <laughs> Yeah, apparently it's pretty good. I wonder if you could actually do a wheelie of the entire drag strip. Probably. And then you decide to gun it and it just goes... Ah! <laughs> Hit me! Yes! <laughs> the Cinque Cento is beautiful. Now that we've had a laugh, I can show you something painful. This is one of the only Fiat's that you can actually buy in the auto show. Now, I know what you're saying, Nick. Why do you care about a 1980s Fiat 124? It might be D-Class. It might only have 100 horsepower. If you go over to the conversions and into the engine swap, you've got a 3.2 liter straight six, a turbo rally engine, and a 3.5 liter V8. None of those are that crazy. I don't really know how to explain this, but I think the developers had a little bit of a joke when they were designing this car and decided to include a 2JZ. 850 horsepower. And we're only just getting started. You can make it even more powerful. That is 1,300 horsepower in D-Class. <laughs> can I get an F in chat in advance for my inevitable crash? Do you think it will spin its wheels? in sixth gear. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, it will. I really want to get 200 miles an hour in D-Class. That would be too funny. It is constantly spinning its wheels right now. 190. Keep going. Please stop drifting. Here we go. This is it. This is it. Down the hill. 190 and it snaps. Yes. 195. 198. Go, 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 go. Go. 198. 199. 200 miles an hour. Yes! I think it's officially the fastest D-Class car in the game. Do you think traction control will even be able to handle this? No throttle control this time. Yes. Yes! The traction control light does not turn off. No, correction. Oh, okay. Um, can't turn. It literally feels like the game is in slow motion. 100 miles an hour has never felt so slow before. Wait, I have a better idea. What if I turn on full assisted driving? All I'm doing is holding the gas down and the game is doing everything else. No, it's struggling. It's really struggling. 
The game's doing surprisingly well. I think he's way faster than me. It's literally a better driver than me. Oh, it hit the wall. <laughs> Wait, somebody in chat saying the AMG Black Series got safety car lights added in this update? I do not believe you. There is no way. Let's see if Twitch chat's a bunch of liars. I think we already know the answer, though. Wait, what? Wait, Twitch chat wasn't lying? There's nothing in the patch notes about that. Usually it would be under like the bug fixes and in like the cars section. It's like the Barbie car is in the auto show. They fixed an issue with like kilometers an hour. It even has lights in the rear bumper. It doesn't have lights in the front. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's so cool. Like that's awesome. I've never seen that before. It literally adds the little lights in the grill. Please do this for more cars. Anyways, let's go back to the festival because there's another car I want to show you. This is the Alfa Romeo 33 Stradale. And if you've played older Forza games before, you probably hate this car. Let me explain why. This car costs 15 million credits. Might want to watch out if you're on a limited budget. You know how back in Forza Horizon 4, people got really frustrated at the bone shaker and the tractor and things like that. And people called those OP cars. No. The Alfa Romeo 33 Stradale is without a doubt the most OP car in Forza Horizon history. Dating back to Forza Horizon 2, it has demolished everything. Nick, the home screen has changed. Do I need to restart my game? Oh, that's really cool. I love the new intro. That is awesome. Back to the Alpha 33 Stradale. Obviously, you can go through here and, like, make your own tune. I think a lot of the OP tunes are running this V8 engine. Or maybe it's this V8. No, it's definitely that V8. 3-liter V8 racing engine. It weighs nothing. Then you could go in. Oh, my God. Look at the turbos. Long story short, with the right upgrades, you can make it insane. And I'm just going to go and download a tune. In cap, we trust for another OP off-roader. It's got 700 horsepower, 400 foot-pounds of torque, off-road tires, all-wheel drive, and rally suspension. I'm going to show you how insane this car is. Usually when you start up a Rivals event, you're like, yes, I'm ready to go. Not in this. Because you don't need to. I think I'm going to give them a 10-second head start. Let's go. I wonder if this thing's actually going to be as good. So keep in mind... This is my first attempt. I have not driven this car yet, ever. Actually, this is my first time ever driving this car in the game. And we're about to see how good it actually is. If I lose this, I'm going to look like a massive moron. I'm already gaining, and I'm literally all over the place. Keep in mind, I have off-road race tires, so I really need to wait for proper off-road, and now I can put the power down. There we go. Up through the right... In through the left, looking good, looking good, looking good. And we have already passed him before 50% of the race. Like I said, if you play this online, uh, you're going to hate this car because you'll see it everywhere. <laughs> it just rips. Uh-oh, oh, oh we're in the wall. Oh, we dirtied the score. Damn it. Just keep going, just keep going. We're fine. It's not even the fact that it's just straight up so fast. It's the fact that it's unbelievably easy to drive. Like, anybody can jump in this thing and just set an absurd time. Keep in mind, I dirtied my lap time. I just got a 223, and I gave them a 10-second head start. If you remove my 10-second head start, that's about 40th place in the world. <laughs> And unfortunately, it only gets worse. It's also unbelievable in a class i've never heard of this guy slow baked panda but let's try his two now good luck buddy i don't even know where you're driving oh he's driving actually a proper rally car oh this might not be a good idea oh this might not be a good idea chat all right rev it up and fire on the 10 second mark and away we go so i don't know if this one's actually tuned for on road or off -road. well obviously it's built for off-roading but I didn't actually look at the tire compound, if it's rally or off-road race. We're not going to catch this guy as fast as we caught the other guy, but I believe we are, in fact, gaining. This tune definitely feels a little bit more of a handful, for sure. 
This tune just feels a little bit heavy for me, if I'm honest. Keep going. We're gaining. We are definitely gaining. We can see him now. Come on, get him, Alpha. Get him. We've only got one more quarter. Oh, I don't know if we're going to do it. No. 10 seconds might have been too much. No. 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 <laughs> no. I wonder how we did. Keep in mind, that was an awful run for me. And that was a 77th place in the world. It's a stupid car. 